Well, uh, there's nothing left to stack wipes, so... Back to the old music we go. I should probably unseize the shit from the, from the the rebels. Now, what am I going to ask of a friend? I'd like to get like a little preview. Can you? Uh, can you? Concede. Oh, that's almost all of the war score. God damn it. Shit. Is it though? Is it really? If I select all of it, is it going to be the same price? I wonder about that. I can't be fucked. I can't be fucked. Uh, we're not asking for that then, because we'd want this. You want that, and then we'll ask for uh, fucking Canada or something. Louisiana. And then we'll select provinces from uh, Florida. There you go. That's gonna be the deal. <clears throat> so we asked for Canada, we asked for Florida. Uh, parts of Florida and the English Channel trade node. And we're gonna separate peace Normandy and ask for these two provinces naturally. And we'll have 100% of the trade power in uh, the English Channel forever. It's gonna be the deal because it's gonna give me 80% overextension. Quite happy with that. There's lots of things that could go wrong, like the siege down here. I'm not that uh, happy about that. But it doesn't look like he's going for that. Oh, he might be. He might be. I'd like Dauphinier's siege down right about now so I can join up with the rest of my dudes. So this is a little bit scary. Oh, God, shit. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I really need these sieges to finish so I can start moving my troops again. There you go. I'm afraid these are done for unless I can somehow... If I can get the siege done, I can evacuate. Might be able to save these. This is gonna be a really close call, though. Okay, well, we did sort of save them, but they're going to die unless I make some changes right now reinforce that. 
All right, we got Paris down. I have to move on with Anju. There's nothing I can really do. All right, so if these guys move into Rouge Rear before it gets sieged down, I can add a general in there. A better one. Looks like we could. Let's reinforce that on time. So, sucks, but these are gonna have to move out of there. There you go. If he attacks the siege, I'm gonna cry. This took so long. <laughs> I really don't want to do that again. I uh, might win this. It's really close. Those rolls aren't helping. He's gonna win that. I'm already starting to lose my cannons. We should bail. Fuck. Yeah, this guy's done for. Unless somehow we can uh, reinforce that on time. I doubt we can. Oh, fuck. This thing was on 42% like five times. Alright, maybe we can reinforce it on time. Can we get a move on now? Yeah, not really. Seven to nine morale, how did that happen? Hey, he's Sprat, so he gets 20% uh, uh, extra Elan. That's it, really. God, these are gonna run off all the way to Toledo. really want to save Provence so bad. Save the siege on Provence. Really don't want to do that twice. At least by the time the guys get there, their morale will be back, so I won't have to sit and do nothing for, uh, for a long time. Alright, looks like I'll be able to save it. Looks like I'll be able to save it. Yeah, I'll be able to save it alright. Fantastic. Alright, that's Hamshirt down, it's Namur down. Try and get these guys on the right side of the channel. And I'm gonna need some uh, proper infantry support if I want that army to do anything except for dying hopelessly. Whew. Yeah, as long as my troops don't run away, we don't lose, but um, they can run away. Make up your mind, please. All 
righty then. Let's get those troops to the right side of the channel. How's this doing? I may as well take out the rebels whilst we're at it. Well, uh, this war would have been incredibly easy if I had uh, decided to attack from one side, but that would take longer, so I'm attacking from two sides. And I don't want him to siege down Holland, nor do I want him to siege down stuff down here. I got a general that's, like, absolutely unacceptable. There you go, that's better. Somewhere like it. Uh, when is revolution gonna happen? Uh, soon. I kinda wanted to finish this war before then, but it uh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. That's okay, we'll go through a revolution whilst fighting France. It's only fitting. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that next army. And, oh! If you're fighting late game battles, discipline is better because the battles last for so long that it really is about who can kill the most guys. What's your name? Alright. Have you siege those rebel controlled provinces it's gonna be a wipe and then I need you to get their stat although we might lose this it all depends on whether this guy can get their own time 10 days huh I'll take a look at my cannon, see if they start dying, then I'm gonna retreat. But I think we'll win. Is this very hard difficulty? Yes! Ever since that patch was in there, I've only played on very hard. Since, uh... It's a lot more fun. The army sizes are just... Through the fucking roof. And because the AI's army sizes are through the roof, you have to uh, make your s make your army uh, as big as theirs, or at least figure out some sort of trick to uh, to beat the enemy instead of just mindlessly blobbing. I mean, I doubt it's gonna get their own time, but it's worth a shot. Am I losing cannons? Oh yeah, I'm starting to lose cannons. Yeah, we're gonna lose that. We may as well retreat now. Oh, what the f- So you don't know what's up with this. This really bugs me. Sometimes this happens. And they can just get stack wiped if that happens. Which just makes me so incredibly sad. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He's gonna stack wipe them. I mean, there's no way. These can't move. So that army is gonna get stuck. Oh no, it's not! <gasps> I'm gonna save them! I'm gonna save them because I pulled this army in! Ah! 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 Bet you didn't see that coming. Now, Normandy, would you like to get in my belly? I'd like to get you in my belly. War exhaustion is kind of through the roof. I only need it to be at five. Sometimes lucky. <laughs> Wait, that exiles them? Damn it, AI, you and your tricks. I 
Can't really move until he seats down Charleroi. I'd like to turn Forced March off. If you have Forced March on, they don't recover morale. Or troops. So. Yeah, the war is over at this point. I know, but still, you shouldn't shatter retreat one province away, that makes no sense. Oh god. That was a close call. I got Ferrara down. I can't get rid of it because he's Jewish. I can't get rid of it because I want to repay all of my loans once I'm done. And it's 38 ducats of debt. 38,000 ducats of debt, not 38 ducats. Hey, you want to see how stupid naval battles are? Here you go. Also, I ought to be putting my focus on the military. This is how stupid naval battles are. 21 versus 21. Except not really, it's 21 versus 116. I'll just keep paying attention to the rest of my shit, but. I think I've already made my point. Of course, it would be more flashy to actually win the naval battle. I might have to retreat to save uh, save one of my ships. Let's find the lowest level uh, ship. It's Finnmark. Is it Finnmark? Yeah, it's Finnmark. Okay, so, 21 versus 171, they had more heavy ships, and I win. And the only reason I win is because I didn't have these weaklings getting in my way. Or she's stupid. She's just stupid. Hey, is there a... Uh, there's a naval force in Girona. Would like to prevent him from uh, sieging me up there. Ah, and right, we have an army up here, we should probably use it. Actually, I wouldn't want to white piece. Uh, can I piece this out? I'm kind of done with this. So I'd like to uh, actually annul the treaties between Ferrara and uh, France. So I don't want to fight both again, that's kind of stupid. Yeah, more ships equals bad. You want to use only heavy ships. Because every single time a ship dies, you lose morale, and then the rest of the ships fight worse, and then... What happens is, uh, he loses morale really fast because I'm sinking all of his stupid ships, and then the heavy ships are going to rip through the, uh, the remainder of the heavy ships, and it's just gonna be awful. So. More ships is bad. You want to use only heavy ships and only up to combat with heavy ships. Not more, not less. Well, I use less this time because I don't have more. But no, ideally, I suppose. Did one million people live in Ireland at this time? Yes. There lived more people in 1800 than there live today. 
because a little something called potato famine. But uh, my country consists of more than just Ireland. It's not Hoi 4, I actually get a lot of manpower from the stuff I conquer. Alright, closing years of this war, how is uh, the new world doing? Please tell me if we siege down at least one fort. Looks like we haven't, so I'm gonna need to go sail over there to uh, make sure that we grab that. And it's time to get rid of the silly provinces. like to use two armies for that, that way I can split them up and then after the war bunch all of them back together and then just spread, press split and I'll have two fully functioning armies again. Shit, uh, can I afford to lose more exhaustion? Almost. This goes up to seven. Oh, one more month and then I'll uh, press they are merely crying for their men. Because I don't want to go below five, because that's going to slow down the revolution. And I wouldn't want that. Because I want to go revolutionary. If you're revolutionary, you get 50% force limit, and that affects my total mercenary count. Most people today live in North Ireland. No, they live more Irish people outside of Ireland than they live in Ireland. Like, the potato famine, a lot of people died, of course, but even more people just took off and left. Just... That's why there's Irish pubs all across the world. Shit, I actually didn't check if that... Uh... Yeah, okay, I didn't go below five. Alright, fun times. Let's, uh... Continue sieging down Navarra so we can piece them out. I'd really like to win all their treaties with uh, France. So how is the course doing on... Yeah, it's going alright. I won't be able to piece out France until I've, um... Until I've cored the Normandy provinces anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, but that's not what I meant, okay? <laughs> yep. Uh, CB in the game. Also, we're trading in salt. Now, if I were to temporarily switch into this guy, I just want to s do this so that I can check. Maintenance for a mercenary is 0 0.10 ducats a month. Maintenance for a normal unit is 0 0.07. Now, if I had picked up defensive ideas as well, uh, the difference would have been 0 0.01. Am I raising war taxes? Yeah, I am. There's... Nothing I can further change. I don't want the, to lower the maintenance more because right? I don't need to, so I'm switching back into my discipline guy in the next month. I just wanted to show you that. It's ridiculous. 0 0.3 lockets difference. Although I did stack every single mercenary maintenance bonus in the, in the game. So there is that. So can I get my discipline guy back? Like I said, we can gather up all the small bits, bunch them all together, press S, and we'll have two fully functioning armies. 
It's always been a huge problem for me to uh, re redo my armies, and now I just do it like this. So I split up two armies, or four, you can also do four, and then press S twice after bunching them all together, and you'll have uh, two fully functioning armies. Normally it's like uh, two and a half times the normal. Yeah, no, normally it's two and a half times the normal. And now it's... practically the same. But you haven't seen the best part, which is gonna happen after I get the one million stack. Because there's something about the one million stack in mercenaries that makes it so much better than the one million manpower stack. Because you don't need to reinforce ever. Ever. You, no, you don't need to reinforce. They suffer attrition, but they technically don't. Hey, sweet revolution. You spawned in cow? Really? I wanted you to spawn in London, you bastard. Why? Uh. Can I just like give in to these? I'll never negotiate. I'm hoping that they'll find a way across the fucking channel, because otherwise I'm this is bad news bears. Also, them taking out cow is bad, because I'm wanting to core that. But if I core Normandy, I should be able to do what I want. But this is still very much unfortunate. I didn't I didn't want it like... Not like this. Not like this. Alright, so he's willing to win all his streets of France, so we're willing to peace out. And now I ought to uh, bring an army over to the New World, because we need someone to siege down the capital. Does it say 1mm? No, it says 1... <laughs> oh, it might! I don't know! It might just say 1mm. <laughs> Alright, let's go see down the capital and be done with this. People are leaving the coalition because obviously. We're gonna have so many rebellions on our hands. Can we please get these revolutionaries to fire in London? Telling me there's no unrest here. English separatists? Why? Why not revolutionaries, man? I'm gonna need to let them break my country. Oh no, my air is going to die. I'm not gonna need airs anymore. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter which rebels siege my capital? Oh, sweet. So I just need them to siege my capital and then I go revolutionary? Really? 